Oh, welcome back to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at a specific reading that I was intuitively led to do in regards to those of you who have the placement of Chiron and Scorpio. But before we get into that message or the messages for you, I want to take the time to invite you all to book a reading with me. You can go to my website, www.divinelotustarot.com. Um, I also want to just let you know that for those of you who are returning a uh, client um, once you book a session with me and you refer a client to me and that individual books with me um, both of you will be able to have ten dollars off of your reading so once you have booked with me and then you refer someone your next session you'll be able to get ten dollars off you can use that um, referral process multiple times however you only are able to apply the ten dollars um just one time per session so each time you book um you'll be able to apply those different referral discounts to each of those sessions and for those of you who are being referred um, as a new client you will be able to utilize a one-time use on your first service and session with me of ten dollars off so make sure you go ahead and book with me and refer other individuals so you can utilize that discount i also want to advise you um to follow my other social media accounts and you can find that information in the description box below this video okay and let's go ahead and get into the reading so i was intuitively led to specifically do a message for those of you with chiron in scorpio and Chiron essentially is represented as the wounded healer. Um, this placement represents a, a wounding that each of us have um, in the different 12 zodiac sign placements. And depending on that zodiac sign, it, it represents a, a situation or a wound in your life where it's it could be very challenging or something that's very hurtful. Um, and it always just seems to be a situation where it brings some source of uncomfortableness for you. However, uh, the significance, what I've learned um, just through my own Chiron placement and just doing research on it is that it's meant to essentially help you to heal by helping others heal those things within them. So whatever your wounded placement is, it's essentially like your point of pain, which is going to bring healing for you by helping other individuals who have that type of pain. So with Chiron and Scorpio, Scorpio represents, you know, intense, transformative, experiences through change and through loss and relinquishing control because Scorpio is a sign that really rules power and um, control and secrets and things of that nature so there is um, energies around those aspects that you may have dealt with or um, continue to deal with over and over again uh, which is a a sore spot for you okay and when it comes to those areas this is where you will find some sense of relief okay by being able to assist other individuals who go through these types of imminent changes transformative changes people who experience significant loss or significant death okay or helping people um, to reclaim themselves or go through transitions you know what i mean in different means and ways that that could come up about in life so you have the gift of being able to help other individuals do that therefore by healing that that wound aspect of however it has played out and transgressed in your own life okay and you definitely can just feel free to look more into that and get more in-depth information in regards to what chiron in um scorpio means and how it may relate to you now as far as the messages coming up i'm picking up a lot of different messages 
Uh, first and foremost, I have the Two of Swords and the Princess of Cups here. I will be honest, I have shuffled and reshuffled and shuffled and reshuffled and shuffled and reshuffled because I feel like I've been getting a lot of conflicting energy, conflicting information and just kind of it's like all over the place and one thing that has been consistent like the death energy kept coming up in your reading so i do feel like for some of you either there you're on the brink of some type of imminent drastic change that is very out of your hands you know which relates to your chiron which is something that's very hard and difficult for you to deal with um or you are in the midst of it at this point in time now I feel like for some of you, there is something that you keep ignoring, okay? Like you keep getting a sign, a signal, symbols, messages, and I feel like you keep disregarding and ignoring it. Um, either you're trying to play it down as being insignificant or it's so subtle that you're just kind of brushing it off as like, no, that's not what it is. So for some of you, in some instances, I do feel like there are health matters that you are needing to look into. Some of you keep ignoring them and it's minor at this point in time or you're playing it down as minor. But I feel like this is definitely something that you should, you know, take serious and deal with it, face it head on and get it get it checked out or look into it okay address it face it head on um just so you could have clarity and have peace of mind in regards to whatever this may be that you keep trying to avoid or ignore getting um the answers that you really need okay um and then for others of you i do feel like there is a percentage of you all that I am picking up um you are doing black magic on other individuals and this is just to confirm that um you will have your own set of karma and consequences that's going to come about upon you based upon you doing that um especially if you have been doing it unwarranted and unjustly against um undeserving individuals and that's all I'm going to address in regards to you all who have been doing uh, dark magic or black magic against other individuals who you like I said innocent individuals besides that I do feel like for others of you um, you have been being um, attacked and sp spiritually attacked by individuals who have been doing black magic against you and you're needing to learn how to get your defenses up and you're needing to learn how to protect yourself so for some of you you may be trying to avoid um, addressing certain things or looking more into certain aspects of the occult or the esoteric um, for some of you it could be because of your family upbringing or for fear of what you think other individuals are going to think about you because there has been a, a energy when I have been trying to pull on your energy and get exactly like what messages I'm going to give to you all around a very traditional foundation that a lot of you have been um, raised with a lot of you have come from a background that's very strict okay like in and I mean strict religious wise so this might be something that is outside of your comfort zone or outside of the norm of how you were raised to look into it but I do feel like there is um, some type of curiosity there okay and maybe some of you even secretly like delve or look into these things especially I mean for those of you who, who have been um, led to come to my channel okay you obviously have some type of interest in tarot um psychic mediumship the occult esoteric things of that nature so there is some type of interest or curiosity that you have there and i feel like um i would just say um i was not raised in a background that was strict religious wise like in my household that i grew up in it it was very openly comfortable for us to talk about like astrology and zodiac signs now in the house where I grew up in like we did not openly practice um being like psychics or mediums and and tarot readers things of that nature um that's something more that came about for me personally that I um was led to do on my own spiritual path and journey um, so I don't have that same type of limitation, restriction, or, um, what's the word? Like that feeling of feeling like it's taboo, um, even though 
it wasn't something that was normal for me to do doing tarot readings but I, I don't I do not have the same type of I guess maybe fear or the same type of apprehension in regards to what people were going to think about me it was just more so like for myself is this the right path for me because I mean I have a very close connection always have always will with God you know what I'm saying but I never had a very specific or strict like religious path that I studied you know um I went to church here and there was never really like had a church home or anything of that nature so like I said like my path and your path is not really same in that sense of it being like forced down my throat like that I religiously and strictly had to follow a certain type of religious belief system um, I kind of was free to choose my own spiritual path like it wasn't something that was forced upon me put it like that now I feel like that it, it that has its pros and its cons um, because I always kind of desired some type of structure um at one point in time like as far as faith um but for me following the path of spirituality works for me because it helps me to just be honest and integrate things that are innately within me that i get directly from connecting to god myself okay and I feel like for some of you, you're used to having that, you know, very structured setting that can come with um, being associated with a specific religion and also the connotation of maybe the ramifications of do this and don't do that. Whereas in spirituality, it's not really a do this and don't do that. You kind of align more so with what is resonating with you your spirit and your soul okay um so there could be some sense of the programming essentially is what i'm saying that you have been um i want to say institutionalized with <laughs> but it's like the, the the program that you have like like what you have been told what is right what is wrong and i feel like there's some sense of conflict like okay well you've been told this all along but now your soul for some of you is starting to speak to you and align with something else that does not resonate with what you were told and i feel like some of you are in conflict of how to deal with certain things because you may be dealing with certain aspects that are coming against you that you may not be able to find the answers um aligned with maybe the path of religion that you were brought up with um, but I do feel because some of you were led to my channel um, it could be that like I said you are being spiritually attacked is what I'm seeing and I feel like for some of you you are being um, called to spend more time devoting to learning how to increase your spiritual practices your spiritual wisdom and um, your spiritual knowledge so you can learn how to actually protect yourself and defend yourself from this um i do see as well too that for some of you um you also may be needing some type of spiritual like healing or spiritual services so that you, some of you might benefit from that if you have not already started doing that and that could just be anything from like sound healing through like music um the different tones the different frequencies um, you could start with YouTube. They have a lot of different sound healing um, videos available for you. Um, you. If you're interested, you could go to maybe like some type of practitioner, spiritual practitioner, where you could get some sound healing done, uh, where they use sound bowls um, to help you clear your energy and help you get your chakras balanced and aligned. Um, there also could just be a sense of maybe some of you really needing to um, get some type of Reiki okay and that's just a, a body type of modality spiritual healing okay and 
either going in person to do it but like i said as well you can find things like that on youtube as well too so i, I definitely feel like some of you may want to start with doing some type of research um either way whether these are practices that you want to develop that maybe you are naturally interested in or maybe you're naturally gifted in so that you can start your own services that you can provide to other individuals if you feel that you are um being led and called to do that and or um if this is something that you're needing or requiring um to just help you just get some type of peace of mind okay or to just heal now the next thing is what i'm picking up as well too the energy around relationships keeps coming up very strongly for some of you okay now for those of you with chiron and scorpio and i feel like this is specifically more a message for the males this energy keeps coming up as well too so i feel like some of you have psychic abilities some of you are empathic in nature okay so if you were wondering about that this is confirmation some of you are already well versed in that i definitely was picking up just for all of you in general or majority i would say not all of you um some of you definitely are interested or have delved into witchcraft of some sort or studied it looked into it to some aspect okay some of you are aware that you have psychic abilities some of you more so are trying to downplay it ignore it yes you do you do have psychic abilities okay um but definitely for those of you who are males what i'm picking up is there is someone who you are interested in okay however it seems like maybe some of you are in some type of relationship that puts a lot of stress and puts a lot of strain on you you kind of feel like you're claustrophobic or like you're stuck in a relationship with an individual okay now what i was picking up is either this person is trying to pressure you into marriage okay or maybe some of you are already in a marriage with this individual and i feel like that's weighing heavily on you because i feel like you kind of feel like you're already trapped and stuck with this person for some of you you have a kid with this person already or this person is currently pregnant and you already kind of feel like that makes you feel suffocated or trapped in the situation already for others of you it definitely feels like whoever this other individual is they're definitely trying to heavily force the uh aspect of having a child with you but i feel like intuitively you feel like this is not something that you're interested in or that you want to do because you don't feel like this person is compatible with you and i definitely see that um this person is doing black magic on you in some form or some sense okay or is just very heavily manipulative um into getting their way so if this is what you have been thinking your mind has been telling you this or leading you to think or you feel like you've been seen or you're starting to question certain things or feeling you know like certain things don't add up i definitely feel like you are correct about that okay like whoever this individual is whoever comes to mind or whoever led you the reason why you were led to this message in the first place um that would be true Wh whatever you're sensing or feeling about this individual i feel like that is true whatever you've been thinking about in your mind in regards to this individual it, it's true um your intuition is very on point like it's your mind is not playing tricks on you okay like this is the confirmation that yes either this person definitely delves into um witchcraft esoteric occult doing love magic or has done love magic on you yes okay um and is this person actively doing it to try to secure either a, a child with you another baby with you or to for you to marry them yes if yes so if you're feeling kind of peer pressured or obligated and you kind of feel like you don't really want to do this but you kind of feel like you have to do it and you feel like it's not really like you wanting to do this that could be a very clear indication that your thoughts are correct of what you are sensing about this individual okay even though you're feeling like maybe it's not true like it's like a piece of you feels like mm, that may not be true 
but another part of your mind feels like maybe it is and I feel like that's because that's your intuition trying to talk to you trying to get your attention of what is going on um, and what's going on behind the scenes as well as the fact that you kind of feel like you're stuck in a situation and you don't know why you feel like you're stuck or you're trapped I also feel like when it comes to this particular individual besides the fact regardless if they are or aren't doing any type of witchcraft black magic whatever um, or just extremely manipulative tactics to get what they want from you which I feel like for majority of you this individual is I also feel like this person is very like aggressive um, and very physical okay and I feel like you've already had more than enough um, signs in regards to this person getting very handsy with you um, so I definitely feel like that is a very strong key indicator for you as well too regardless of all that other the other things that it definitely is something that you really need to strongly consider before having another baby with this person um, or marrying this individual okay or just even proceeding further into a relationship or a connection or entertaining this person okay especially if they're, they're they're showing any indications of this early on before you any of those things happen you might really want to strongly consider that before you get yourself into some type of commitment with, with this person because that is what this person is showing you is who they are like there's no reason for you to second doubt or guess that what they have showed you is what they are and i do see this person gets very physical okay seeing as well too that some of you do have your eyes on another individual who you're wanting to move towards that you feel is a little bit more emotional stable emotionally mature emotionally balanced emotionally nurturing compared to this individual who you are already with or this person who keeps trying to like aggressively assertively um and like make you settle down with them um is what i'm getting um but i see you feel this other individual is more like emotionally balanced okay this person has a better sense of emotional maturity and is just more nurturing um and more healing and i feel like you're being drawn to this person for a specific reason now for some of you i definitely feel like this could be someone who you potentially could have some type of romantic connection with there is the potential for that but then for others of you, it could simply just be the fact that you're being drawn to this person because this could be someone who's kind of helping you that may be able to help um, lead you with healing. They may offer healing um, services that you might benefit from or to help you get on your path to becoming a healer yourself. So not all of you, this individual is specifically going to be um, a love interest or a soulmate where you're supposed to be with this individual. Some of you, yes. But others of you, I feel like this person is just like the catalyst that you came across this individual just solely for the fact of you being able to get on your own path of what you're supposed to do and to help you, you know, just just help you get where you need to be and help you get out of this situation that kind of feels like it's kind of toxic that you're in. OK, because I'm seeing some of you feel like. It, it would be like a struggle for you to leave this connection or this relationship like you like you're gonna have a very difficult time trying to break away from this particular individual and that right there is a, a sign you know that that's not somebody who you want to be dealing with long term or in the long run because anyone that you feel like you have to like walk on eggshells around or you have to like you, you fear like leaving this individual that sounds very toxic or very abusive in nature like you should be able to freely as an adult um be able to come and go as you please without fear of some type of um negative repercussion from somebody else you get what i mean because i kind of feel like there's hostile energy that you're worried about and 
and that's not normal okay so just in case no one's ever told you that before like that's not love and that's not normal regardless of who this person is whether this is a love interest or or a friend or anyone else uh, that's not that's not love you know love is not bullying love is not oppressive love is not suppressive love is not you know supposed to be um make you scared or make you fear or make you you know always be in fight or flight type of energy that's not love okay so that that's just also red flags and indicator that you just need to be mindful of because everyone's not always demonstrated healthy um healthy representations of love and sometimes you can repeat certain patterns in other relationships just due to what you have been um what you have been around or raised around or grown up in certain type of environments okay and just because you've seen that that does not mean that that's normal that may have been you know the nature of what you experienced growing up but that's not healthy and that's not normal okay so i'm just here to let you know that that's not normal okay like you you shouldn't feel like that in a in a relationship um okay and lastly what i want to just say as well too for those of you who are embarking on a career in the entertainment field or you are already in the entertainment field in some sense i do see that some type of major success will come to you for some of you it definitely is going to entail that you may need to break off and go solo okay or be independent or you may have to travel far away from your home your roots your home base what you are familiar with um in order to be able to break out and have some type of major success okay so the things of the past are not going to serve you where your soul path your journey is trying to take you so for some of you this is a sense of you're going to need to walk away and leave behind people or places um even maybe certain habits or things that no longer serve you that's not going to be conducive to where you are headed and i feel like you know some of you are going to need to get comfortable being uncomfortable meaning that you're not going to have this the crutch of being around the familiar in order to have the type of success that you're actually um that you've been working diligently towards and i feel like that is also destined for you okay and i feel like for some of you as well too um it's really up to you like if you're trying to reach some type of ultimate level of significant success for yourself it's not going to be where you currently are okay it's not going to be maybe doing the same thing that you've been doing or it may not be with the people who you thought it was going to be with um i just definitely see an energy of out with the old in with the new and that definitely has a lot to do with chiron and scorpio representing that energy of death so sometimes it can represent a little a literal death a loss that you you know that you experience or have experienced but it also can just represent the death to things of you're familiar with you know what i'm saying and you trying to cling and hold on to that is only essentially going to continue to um hinder you and i feel like also it's going to it, it may continue to implement and show up physically in your body okay letting you know that like you're holding on to something um as well too it could be things that you're holding on to that you're needing to release and let go of that is not healthy for you and negatively impacting your physical well-being okay especially your emotional well-being which is in turn showing up in health elements within you okay so i definitely just feel like it's best for you to just um get comfortable with accepting the things that you can change and learning to get ex comfortable with what you can't change that's okay as well too um as well as that you know you go through a season 
with some people you go through a season in some careers you go through a season with certain aspects of yourself and, and that's okay for you not to be the same for you to evolve for you to grow it's part of your evolution to to get comfortable with that okay and also being comfortable with the fact that other people might not be comfortable with your growth or with your change but you cannot stay stagnant um because it's only going to negatively impact you so like i said especially for those of you who have been having health implications you trying to hold on to things that are trying to change and the change will be for the better for you either you learning to let certain things go um or just accepting that you're not the same as what you used to be or things are not going to be the same as what they used to be i feel like it's all about embracing change and i feel like there's a, a lot of beautiful things that lie ahead of you um i'm just definitely seeing something beautiful when it comes to those of you who especially are in the music industry or will be um releasing some type of music and whatnot you will have some type of success in this field and it definitely may be new for some of you some of you may be branching off into music for the first time or some of you may be branching off solo for the first time or some of you just may be branching off into a new genre of music than what you've been doing but um nonetheless whatever this is that you're going to be moving towards or that you've been kind of being pushed or kind of feeling insecure or uncertain about moving towards i definitely feel like this is your confirmation it's going to be successful as long as you continue to just be very confident and um focus your attention on what is best for you and learning to be comfortable with taking charge and being the leader of what you want to do and realizing that it's okay for you to step up and that i feel like this is the way that the universe is directing and pushing you to kind of step more in a leadership role and take more charge and take more control in certain aspects of your life maybe where you haven't had to step up and take responsibility and take control before um and not leaving it up to other individuals who have been kind of wielding control over you so i feel like it's almost the energy of you needing to like reclaim your power and reclaim your time and do what is in your best interest and what is aligned with you or what is aligned with essentially where your soul is guiding and urging you to go moving forward okay i hope that makes sense um that was the messages that came through um if you all are interested in more specific details into your own personal situations because this is a collective message and chiron and scorpio is very 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 broad um it's not as specific i would say as like a zodiac sign um but it's very it's, it's a whole lot more wide range and i'm sure there's a whole lot more messages that i could get into but i just wanted to really touch base on what i was getting as the most significant things um of change that some of you are experiencing or dealing with or may be coming up in your uh, life experiences to help just give you some direction or guidance so if you would like more detailed information you could go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com besides that be blessed